Before I send out any my chip carving knives, I sharpen them and test them for sharpness. I'll commonly shave the hair on my arm or take a cut across the end grain of a piece of basswood or make some chips and see that the cuts are nice and glassy smooth. But I always wondered if I could put a number on sharpness. And that's when I came across the Edge On Up Tester. This testing device uses a thin filament where you apply steady pressure with your knife to cut through the filament and then it takes an accurate reading. I started my testing with a Stanley paper blade. I wanted to form a base so that I could measure from this to see how sharp my knives were in comparison to this blade. So I took this new Stanley blade, put it in a holder, and did four tests. After four tests, the average came out to 208. You can see on their chart that 208 would be at the top of the range for a utility blade. So this showed me that I was right on track. So next I tested a dull unsharpened knife and the number came to 1485. If you look on their chart, it shows that this is equivalent to a bent blade or even a little bit lower on the chart, severely rolled edge. So again, I know I was doing the pro uh, procedure correctly. I started my test with my Diamond Deluxe knives. I'd begin on the Tormek grinder on the 1200 grit wheel. I'd turn a burr and then I'd run a test on the edge on up tester and then record the number. Then I'd take the same knife back to the 4000 grit wheel, run another test, get a number, and then finish up on the leather strop and get the final number. I did this for six Diamond Deluxe knives and the average came out to 145. My next test was on the Ruby Edition My Chip Carving Knives. These blades come to me pre-sharpened. So my first test was without doing anything to the blades. Next I took these knives to the leather strop and ran a test. I tested five knives and the average after the leather strop came out to 169. So here's what I've learned. All of my knives are leaving the shop really sharp. So that's good, that's reassuring. The methods I've been using to test for sharpness have been working. And something else I learned is that I could even make the ruby blades sharper by adding the step of the Tormek 4000 grit wheel before the leather strop. That should drop it down close to the 150, 140 range, exactly where the Diamond Deluxe knives are.